Welcome to episode 17. This is the day after a game, so we had a little different session today. We started off with Rondo, and then you can see here we had the agility ladder going. So here is Rondo with two in the middle against four, and then you have five on the outside, and you see it's a nice rectangle grid. So normally we wouldn't have a really hard training the day after a game, so we went We'd go normally do like a recovery regeneration session, but since only every player played between say 40 and, and 40 and 50 minutes, we actually had a medium intensity day today. And normally this wouldn't be the case. This is why it's kind of hard to plan too far in advance because there's things in the season that you don't expect and so forth. So I, I wasn't sure some guys would have had to play 90 minutes but it didn't work out that way so they only played a little here's another rondo so we varied between the two rondos and this is a 18 person rondo it's 4v4 plus 2 in the middle with 4 on the outside you can only play to this to your own team on the outside and so what, what happens is you know the workload was a little less on the guys so I would have never known that it's just the way that the game went so that's why we have to to always keep a flexible and open plan so we're actually at game minus three right now because we have another game coming up we play Tuesday we have another game coming up on Saturday so again that's why our workload was medium because guys didn't get quite as much uh, run yesterday uh, sorry on Tuesday. So now we go into an exercise 99 plus 3 plus goalkeepers with constraints So one touch backwards two touch Otherwise if it's not one touch backwards no square balls no straightforward balls and only angled uh, forward balls. so if you watch this 99 plus 3 we go from 18 yard line to 18 yard line and we bring in the sidelines so you could see that's an angled ball one touch back that ball has to go forward because it was two touches. The Reds are always on the team with the ball. That's two touch, so it has to be an angled ball. One touch back, another angled ball. So these are the constraints. And when you have this many players on the field and you have these type of constraints, it's good, yes, for cognitive reasons, but it also it manages the workload. So this isn't an all-out game where everybody's going 100 miles an hour. The constraints make this a more controlled game. The smaller field limits the workload. And the number of players limits the workload. But it's still very challenging. So I felt it was a good activity, a good exercise for the day after a game where most guys only got about 40 minutes to 45 minutes.